Hello friends, this video on understanding numbers part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction Making large numbers Comparing larger and smaller numbers Writing larger numbers in words Unit conversion to handle larger numbers in real life Estimation of numbers and Roman numerals. Numbers and mathematics. They are very closely related to each other. And that is why in the first lesson of your mathematics, we are talking about numbers. What exactly is mathematics? It is the science of quantity. What is quantity? Quantity always defines how much of anything. Now, let us look at certain examples. Let's say that your mother asked you to go to the shop and get her tomatoes. Now, the moment you reach the shop, the shop and you tell the shopkeeper that I want tomatoes. The first question that the shopkeeper will ask you is, how much tomatoes do you need or how many tomatoes do you need? So what is that how much? That is nothing but the quantity. So you need to specify the quantity, whether you need 5 kgs of tomato or you need 10 kgs of tomato or you need half a kg of tomato. So whatever this quantity is, whatever is that which is defining the quantity, whether it is 5 kg or it is 10 kg or it is 1 kg or it is one half kg, what are these? These are nothing but numbers. So you always need numbers to define a quantity, to specify a quantity. Not only this, think of any example. Let's say uh, you performed really well in your exam and you go home saying that, oh, I scored really well. Now your score is also in the form of numbers. You scored 55 out of 100 or 95 out of 100. So what is 95? 95 is nothing but again a number. Your younger brother comes yelling saying that, oh wow, I have five chocolates with me. So what is defining the quantity of chocolates that he has? Nothing but a number. Maybe if he says that he has five chocolates, so five is a number which is defining how many chocolates he has. Think of a little different example. You have a pizza and uh, it is really difficult for you to eat the entire pizza it is because it is quite too big for you. So you just need a slice of pizza. Now here also you see that you make use of numbers. You, you either say that I need one slice of pizza. So that one is again a number. Or you say that I need one fifth of the pizza. That is if you divide the pizza into five equal parts, and then I need one of those five equal parts. So as you see here, this part is like one, two, three, four, five. So you have divided the entire pizza into five equal parts and you just needed one out of those five parts. But what is this one by five? This is also a number. Now sometimes the days are really hot, especially during summers. The days are really, really hot. Why? Because the temperature is high. Now, how do we define temperature? How do we measure temperature? For that also, we need a number. So when we talk about a temperature as high as, say, 50 degrees Celsius, so that would mean that the weather is quite hot. But when you talk about temperatures as low as maybe 2 degree, 3 degree, 5 degree, that means the weather is quite cold. So even to specify temperatures, we make use of numbers. The students... The teacher wants to record the number of students present in a class. So the attendance of a class is also in terms of numbers. Maybe there are 50 students in a class. Out of 50 students, 40 are present and 10 are absent. So 50, 40, 10, these are all numbers. You look at your watch to see the time. What do you see? You again see numbers. Maybe 3, 6, 9, 12 or in certain watches, you actually see all the numbers from 1 to 12. So you see, in so many examples, in so many things in our day-to-day -day life, we make use of numbers. Now, can you think of passing an entire day without talking about numbers or without using numbers? Not possible, actually. That's because in everything, you have 
the presence of numbers directly or indirectly and mathematics is all about quantity how much of anything and the for and to define this how much you need numbers and that is why we say that mathematics and numbers have a very close relationship with each other now when you talk about numbers we see that numbers have a huge range now numbers can be as small as something like one, two, three. Like on the screen, you see three toffees. So numbers can be that small, which can be very easily counted. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are all small numbers. But at the same time, numbers can also go big. Now, as the numbers of toffees keep increasing, they might even go up to 15, 20. And after some time, if you keep collecting more and more toffees, it might even go to 100, 500, 6,000 or even 10,000. In fact, numbers can actually go really, really big, much beyond these numbers. Now, they, they, are, they can be as small as a single digit number like 1. They can be huge as a 7 digit, 8 digit, 9 digit, 10 digit number. So let us look at this example where we will actually see how the range of numbers keep increasing. You think of a toffee. The cost of the toffee might be rupees 2. So 2 is a very small number, a single digit number. Think of a book. The cost of the book might be rupees 100, which is a three digit number comparatively bigger than the number 2. Think of a dress, which might cost you somewhere around 2000 rupees, which is again a bigger number when compared to 100. Think of buying a car that might cost you somewhere around 4 lakhs. So you see now you started with a single digit number 2 and now you are at a 6 digit number. You think of buying a house that might even cost you some 60 lakhs rupees. So now you have a 7 digit number. So the range of numbers they can start from a single digit number and it can go to infinity. It can be a 7 digit, 8 digit, 9 digit, 10 digit, 11 digit. I mean, there is no end to it. So that is the range of numbers. So I hope you can understand how huge the range of numbers are. The numbers can be very small. Numbers can be very, very, very big as well. So now the question is when we have two very, very big numbers, like how you see on the screen and if somebody asks you which is bigger, now looking at these numbers itself is scary. Now telling which one is bigger is all the more tough. So it is very difficult to decide which one is big, bigger when you have very, when you have larger numbers to deal with. If you are given a very big number again, like 672663554. And if I ask you, how would you call this number? Now, for example, if I give you a smaller number like this, how would you call this number? You would quickly say, this is 26. If I give you a number like this, how would you call this number? You would say 3519. Right? So with smaller numbers, you can very quickly tell the name of that number. But when it comes to bigger numbers, it becomes difficult to tell how do you name that number. If somebody tells you that the cost of one book is rupees 200, how much would 1542890 books cost? So again, that's a huge number. Right? Now, whenever you have to deal with bigger numbers, it is a challenge because the bigger numbers are so big that they are themselves scary. Now, operating those numbers is like difficult. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.